Hello everyone, my name is John Alessandra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today my subject will be uh, just a simple uh, landscape with a river. Um, I'm thinking of putting a house and uh, some trees or something like that and also a pathway. Okay, so that will be my uh, subject today. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials in the screen. You can see the five limited colors of brushes that we're going to and all the things that we're going to to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to uh, do a little sketching first. So this is my, uh, for a very long time everyone, it's my, uh, it's been a while that I, I painted in oil and now I'm going to do another one. So hopefully you are there watching. So the same colors I'm, uh, I was using. Five limited colors with the raw umber. So we're gonna do a little sketching first. I will be using a small brush. This one. It's a number three nylon flat brush. So this will be this will be our horizon. And here I will put the pathway, everyone. There. And here will be some rocks. This is a wet and wet technique. So here in the center, I'm going to put one tree, one big tree. Yeah, just one tree here on the center of the painting. Okay, there you go. And here I'm going to put some Also here on the background, I'll put some trees, forests. There. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do the sketching more. Maybe here some rocks. Okay, that's it. So I will not make it so complicated. Maybe I will put one tree here. There. Okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I will not put any mountains now. Okay, so that's it. We have now the sketch and I'm going to add another painting. Or the first uh, layers. So I'll be using this bristle flat brush flat. I think this is uh, one inch or 1.5 something. I'm gonna put a little more, a little uh, linseed oil to make it smooth. And I have here the white and a little. Uh, or uh, talo blue yeah I'm gonna put more white I want, I want it to be smooth smooth white or or very uh, misty something this is a wet, uh, this is a wet on wet technique everyone uh, if you want to try it in acrylic, you can also do this in the acrylic. So 
I want to make the background smooth, something like this. And then I'm gonna mix for a little bit of red to make some uh, purple. And then let's put something here. Yeah, maybe there are also some trees here. Like that. Yeah, some far, some forest. But it will be very, very misty. And so you can put the reflection also. Like that. Just drag it down. There. And then I'm gonna put more white. I'm gonna put the reflection first. The color of the water reflections. I think this is just very, very fast to paint everyone. Just drag it down, something like that. And then you can put more white. Let's put the the pine trees. So here, blue and the red to make some purple. I want it to be dark. More red, yeah. And then little blue amber. You can mix with the exist existing colors, existing white to make it a little bit lighter. And then we can now start putting those pine trees. again maybe a little bit darker with some raw umber okay also the reflections we can put the reflections just drag it down everyone like that And just spread it like that everyone drag it down there okay how about that you can now see a reflection it's good.
and then I'll try to put some raw umber here yeah umber is uh, dark so I like that just mix it here everyone it's fine also create a little bit of reflection on the on the dark color on the dark umber and then you can put more raw umber here You can actually mix uh, blue with a little bit red to make it dark. There. You can put more red and then raw umber. And then you can use some raw umber with the white, a little bit of yellow, and then red. Yeah, you can put on the pathway. Or you can just spread more on the colors of the pathway for some more browns. looks smooth now okay I will be using this uh, flat brush everyone uh, bris uh, bristle flat brush I know it's a nylon flat brush so I will make uh, more uh, trees on the background pine trees the same color everyone and then you can create those there so that they can make a beautiful pine trees So just follow the position of my brush and do the tapping technique. Okay, 
Uh, let's put more. You can uh, first make a stroke uh, upward and create some leaves, something like that. Just very, very easy, everyone. So we have now a misty uh, forest, okay? Okay. And then I am going to put uh, something. I'm going to put some highlights also. I'm going to use this small brush, everyone. It's a number three bristle flat brush. I uh, know, I mean, uh, number three. Uh, what do you call this? Nylon flat brush. So I have here the raw umber. I'm gonna put a little yellow and red to make it more brownish and then white. More yellow, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make it lighter. Air. so it's a wet and wet technique everyone there I'm gonna put more brownish also And then let's put some leaves. So the same color, uh, the same brush everyone, I'm gonna use this one for the leaves. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use more yellow and the blue. Yellow and the blue and then little white. More blue and the yellow. With a little amount of red. And then yellow, okay. I think I'm gonna put uh, white everyone because this one's a little bit uh, lighter. There, you can see now some greenish. You can add now a little bit lighter.
you can put the light color green uh, tip on the on the tip of your brush everyone there there Okay, we can now see the highlights of those uh, pine trees. So do not overdo it. Just uh, maybe something like that. It will just it will just look like a uh, a very misty colors there. Okay, and then you can put the reflections. So, just put a little greenish color downwards. Also here. And so spread like that there okay and then I'm gonna use now uh, I'm going to use now my uh, palette knife okay so I have a small palette knife here and I'm gonna use it here okay so look at this one maybe you can find some size like that I have here some raw umber and then some white yellow and then red I'm gonna mix it together So we can create the river bank. There. And then we can make it a little bit lighter. some yellow
Okay. Can also get some lines here. Yeah, so I can you can add a little bit of reflections. yellow a little bit red So put some green stone there. Okay, and then I will try to use my bristle flat brush. This one and create some lighter a uh, yellowish. So. So you can can use the tapping technique. I can make the tapping technique to create uh, some grasses here. I can make I can make it lighter. Okay, it was reflection what you what you did there. There, a little bit golden, like a red and a yellow. So you have now a very beautiful water reflections okay so I think that looks good now it looks uh, realistic everyone it's just very very simple and it looks realistic for me so yeah okay so I'm gonna be uh, blend on some parts And then here, let's, let's create a beautiful pathway. I'll be using a palette knife. So here, I'm going to put Uh, follow the follow my strokes everyone
there. I want it to be a little bit lighter. Some yellow, uh, umber, and then red, and then white. So we just have to uh, put it there, something like that. Yeah, so you have now a pathway. there okay yeah and then uh, I'm gonna put some uh, trees also here I'm gonna put some uh, a lot of bushes so we need to clean our brush and we have to mix for some greens yellow and the blue with the bristle we're gonna use the bristle flat brush also some yellow yeah on the top oh I'm sorry everyone if you didn't see everything yeah I think you didn't see everything what I did on the bottom part So you can do it a little bit slowly. Some lighter yellow here. So I was planning to put a tree here. Yeah, I'm gonna put a tree there. I will be using a small this one, small uh, flat brush. This one is a tiny uh, bristle uh, nylon flat brush, and I have here the raw umber and then white. So here.
there and I want to um, uh, put some yellow leaves on this uh, tree so yeah I will be using this yellow with a little bit of red there just a tapping technique everyone Okay, I'm gonna put some highlights, which is some pure yellow. You can clean your brush and then put some pure yellow on the top tip of your brush, like this. Actually, you can use a fun brush if you want. Okay, I will show you how you how we're gonna use a, a pan brush. So we have a pan brush here. Here you can put also the tip of the just put the tip of the yellow paints. I just put the yellow paints on the tip of your brush. There, so you have now a beautiful tree here on the side. That looks beautiful. Okay, so I will be using now uh, this 00, zero uh, this 00, zero uh, rigger brush or liner brush. So I have here a very small. A uh, very light or a lighter brown uh, paints. So I'm gonna use this for the highlights. Add more uh, linseed oil, everyone. There, I'm gonna put uh, uh, I'm gonna put more brands. There, I think that will be good. Yeah, I think that's good, everyone. Yeah, I like that. It's so simple and good. Okay, yeah, everything becoming clear now and it's even uh, looking good on the far. And then I'm gonna put now, I'm not really sure I'm gonna put the tree, but yeah, maybe I will just put the tree here, not here. I'm planning to put it here, but here, I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. I'll just put maybe an old uh, birch tree. Okay. 
So I will be using uh, this uh, big flat brush. It's a number eight nylon flat brush. So I have here a lighter uh, raw umber. Just put it here. I'm going to use more rope. A little bit lighter. Yeah, we can also put uh, some darks. Even if it's not so much big, it's fine. And then we can put some branches. There, I'll be using the rigger brush or the the liner brush. This one. There. Okay. Here, so you have now a lot of uh, branches. Now we can put the highlights. I'm very, very excited to put the highlights, everyone. It can it can make a uh, painting pop out. So here I have some white with a little bit brownish. And position your brush like that. And and spread it like that there on the on the right side see I'll try to use uh, white. Okay, now on the other side, I'm gonna mix for a little bit bluish or maybe some uh, purple. 
and then with white to make it a lighter purple a little bit lighter that's too much dark there okay that's good all right a little bit uh, darker also there yeah I like the tree I like that tree everyone it looks good it looks realistic And now let's put some uh, leaves there, but uh, I want it to be like a uh, reddish or orange leaves. And it looks like an autumn, something like that. But before I forget everyone, I, I'm going to put some lines here on the, some lines on the, on the river. So I'll be using this blue, with a little bit white, not so much white. Just make a line everyone like that. enough it's, uh, I think that's good enough yeah. yeah I think more here I want it to be a little bit more lighter with more white There, okay. Yeah. Okay, that looks like a realistic water now. Okay. Yeah, maybe I will put more. Maybe here. Or maybe some light greens. Yeah, something floating, everyone. Okay. There. Okay, so, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to... I'm going to uh, put now those uh, leaves there. Uh, maybe some flowers or something like that. I'll be using a small brush. I have here the red and then I'm going to put some yellow. To mix 
like some orange I think it will rain everyone starting to rain I hope it's not bothering you So just uh, dots everyone, tapping technique. training now there so yeah I'll just put uh, to like that Just put uh, the paints on the tip of your brush, everyone. I have the rain that bothering you so I will just continue yeah I think that will be enough it's just very very simple uh, with a few leaves uh, wait, wait I'm gonna put more here okay i think that will be fine i don't want to distract my background also yeah i'm gonna proceed now there and i think i'm almost done uh, this tutorial is just very very simple and easy i think okay so let's put some something there so i have this row umber and white create those rocks here I 
Hopefully this rain is not bothering you everyone. Here I'm gonna put something like uh, like uh, some small rocks also. This one. Okay, so let's put uh, some highlights. White and yellow. And then I'm gonna use this uh, raw umber with a little bit white everyone. My raw umber here is a little bit different colors, more gray. some darks there also I'm gonna put some some darker colors so I will be using this uh, red and the blue I'm not using any black everyone so red and the blue will be dark purple So it's a really rocky part, everyone. And then 
I'll try to put a little bit of white there here. This light purple. I'm gonna put here in the part of the soil. Maybe more red. Uh, lighter. Yeah, lighter everyone. So this will be the casted shadows. And I will try to put uh, also some leaves there. So I'm going to mix for green. greenish with some red So later we can put the highlights here okay and then i'll put more yellow Just put the just put the yellow on the tip of your brush. So here. A little bit of reddish color. the greens just use the topping everyone
อาจิตSo it looks good, and also here. And on this part, everyone, let's put more yellow. Just put the tip uh, of the brush around the color and then put it like that. just retouch now and then I'm done just uh, it's not so hard I think it's hot everyone I think everyone can also do it and so far I like the outcome it looks good okay so I am going to add some more highlights now especially here I'm gonna finish that part and then I am I am done so I have here remaining white Okay, and then some yellow here. So let's put more highlights here. So this is a, a mud, a muddy pathway, everyone. And I put some bluish uh, purple color. some more white yeah I need to add some white just a little bit of white yeah
I'm gonna put some lines here on the road like that to create a little more details there okay about that so i think i am done yeah i like the outcome it looks good it looks uh realistic I like everything there. I like the lights there. It looks very, very uh, good. I think I'm going to put some cast this shadow here. there maybe just something like that okay yeah okay everyone so i think i am done uh, everything for me is good i like the i like the lights there it's so bright and uh, the painting is just very very simple and it looks realistic for me so for the long time this is my uh new tutorial for uh, painting using oil oil paint so yeah i hope you like it i hope you're enjoying the full tutorial and honestly thank you for watching this video today please don't forget to hit like share this painting so that everyone can see and they can also learn uh you can um a lot of people can watch this painting and also it's showing uh, support for me Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.